wanted to quickly go over how we can go about getting the MT48 to route external hardware through it. Um, I've made a quick mock setup and I'm going to have to try to do this on the fly here, but I've got a couple cameras rolling um, and I'm going to try to show you on both ends, you know, the DAW side and the hardware side, how everything should be looking. Um, so for starts, you're going to want to dive into your MT48 and I'm going to actually do that from the remote controller so you get a nice view of that. Mind you, I've already done this, but I will show you exactly where to go. Okay, so your mixer window, if it's cleaned up, is going to look a lot like this. Uh, if not, then you know you could definitely look at some of the guides I've put on ChrisDoesAudio.com. Uh, I teach you how to clean those up, and maybe we could put that in a future video. So as you can see, my uh, B monitor is actually green. That's because at the moment I'm allowing it to be a input and output for the external hardware. Um, so to do that, what you're going to want to do is go to menu, then you're going to want to go to settings, then you're going to want to go to USB I.O. Then you're going to want to scroll down a little bit and you'll see software playback direct routing. Notice how mine are all grayed out except for line three and four, which is that B that we see highlighted in green here. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll actually click to enable this and you'll see that it'll show in green on your MT48 at this point. To double check your routing, make sure everything else is looking good, you're going to want to go to menu, go to bus routing, and make sure it looks something like this. Notice how it says line out is USB mapped. That's because we just enabled three and four to be mapped to USB line out. And now what we'll do, uh, we're going to go ahead and mute line three. For this example, we're going to be using line three. Uh, the reason why we mute line three is because you don't want to be hearing a duplicate signal. Uh, so go ahead and mute that. Otherwise, you're going to hear essentially the dry and the wet version of the signal you're sending through. So from here, and we're going to try to do this the best we can, I'm going to show you the hardware hookups. So I'm going to grab my other camera here. Um, essentially, what you got here is you've got output three, which is my gray wire here. Um, and it's coming to my compressor right here. And I'll show you the back here. So you're going to want to go out of MT48-3 in to your compressor, so your input. Then you're going to want to come out of your compressor output. And then you're going to come back in to the MT48 input 3. So again, we're coming output 3 to input to output to input 3. Hopefully that made sense. Now that we've got the hardware wired up and looking OK, uh, we've also got the mute so we don't hear the dry and the wet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the DAW side. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at, uh, I'm actually going to remove this for the sake of teaching here. I'm going to look at our channel strip. You're going to go and click I.O. And you're going to want to pick mono in this instance. We're sending a mono track. All right, and we're going to go ahead and come out of three, just like our cables. And then we're going to come back in on three, just like our cables. From here, you can go ahead and ping it. Notice how signal went through on the DAW, but also on your MT48. Uh, by pinging it, what we've done is we've given it a latency offset. This is going to be different and random for pretty much everybody. Uh, but as long as you see a number pop up, you know that you've done something right. So now, without further ado, let's hit bypass. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that this compressor is on. I didn't set up any parameters, but for the sake of <clears throat> it being just an example, I'm going to just make sure you can tell that the signal is effective. So I'm going to bring my camera down here. 
All right. Now that you can see my VU meter, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit play on the DAW. Uh, the VU meter should not be moving just yet because we have our plugin disabled. All right, and now I'm gonna turn the plugin on, and you're gonna see that the uh, hardware is reacting to it. All right, and it looks like it's a very low signal there. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll check our remote controller real quick. If we go to line three, I guess it's better to do it this way. If we hit this B, uh, you're going to notice that by default, the MT-48 is going to set this to negative 20. Um, what you're going to want to do is actually set it up to zero. So we're going to actually drag this fader all the way across. And now you can see our VU meter is giving us a nice healthy signal. Uh, the mixer is showing us a healthy signal. And of course the DAW is showing us a healthy signal. And that's really it. That's how you route external hardware out of the MT-48 into a compressor or any hardware for that matter. Out of the hardware and then back into the MT-48 using the uh, USB I.O.